So ladies and gentlemen, um, this is um, now I want to show you the interface of these applications one after the other. So one of the things I want to show you is um, sorry, one of the things I want to show you is the local pit plus interface. Okay, are we sorry? I might not be able to express every of those contents one after the other. Now you have this option. By the time you are trying to load the page, this is what you have. So if you are working on a project, that means the project will not be lost. For example, say, would you like to load the last design made? If I click yes, it's going to bring the last design I made. Can you see? This is the last design I made. Now, I will show you how to make this something like this, exactly like this. And also, in addition, based on the video I first shared you earlier on, so I will also show you. Um, one more then I'll give you an assignment there's a picture that I want us to work on I believe everybody can do it so just first believe in yourself you will do it it's very simple I love logo bit, bit a lot prefer to Canva many people knows how to use their Canva I think Canva is quite simple and straightforward but I love the logo bit so I will show you how to use it and the little way you can get things that are beautiful as this so um that's all let's 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 begin um now i will go and close this let me exit exiting yes i want to exit so now this time around i'm launching an empty canvas so that you can get what is there i'll just tell you what is there per one i won't explore you that much so i'm creating new now like uh i want you to know that there is a canvas setting for you so that even if you, if you design it from the phone, by now it is exported. For example, if you export a desktop wallpaper, see the size, 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that's a pixel me measurement. Now, the pixel means picture element. So by the time you see it's being shared, imagine, it is just going to adjust itself to the actual size without you trying to zoom out, zoom in. Now all these other ones have been shaped to be at the right size that the the user speculated earlier on to Facebook and the like. But most times I use logo or I use Instagram Instagram post because of the squaring nature. So let me go for the logo and now I just want to explain to you how the interface are set. So in the upper, I'll start from the upper left corner. This upper left corner, what you see there is like a books that were stacked on themselves. Just see it as a um, sheet of papers that you are going to use for your work that were arranged one after the other. So if you put um, um, the earlier one, if you put uh, a book on a dictionary, certainly it will always be the book that you put on the dictionary that will be appearing before your face. So you can use this idea to adjust. When it's time to use it, I will be showing it to you one after the other so now on the upper right corner is the zoom to now the undo button is the arrow that points back the arrow that points forward is the um um redo so you can go to the things you've done before so that you, you just get back without you adjusting again now if you want to undo it you can click back you won't be able to use it again now plus is for creating new objects can you see do you want to draw? Do you want to add the logo? Do you want to add text? Do you want to add picture? So if it is draw, you click. That means you're going to be using your hand to do things like this. So can you see? You can also draw. You can write things. That's that's the essence of this app. Anyway, let's. I'm not. I'm not going to that today. So I'm exiting from drawing. So now, um, the next thing is your uh, option button. The three lines. This gives you various options. For example, from here you can try to open the work that you've done before. That's draft. By the time you click draft, oops, um, no, I just want to click draft. Not so you can see what happened. It changed the base when I used save, but I'm not saving draft. So now can you see I have a draft here now? The one I did earlier on, I can just open this draft and keep working on it if I need to work on it. But I'm not doing that. So let's go back. I just want to show you everything now let's come down to the base this save came about because if you look at the the icon on the save something like floppy disket was highlighted but now I'm not going to floppy disket I want to show you one after the other from the left hand corner now you have the logo 
this logo is the image type um this Im image um shade logo you saw on the left corner lower left corner that is highlighted right now is the logo so if you click add logo you know we now have two options you can use the plus or you can use this place so if you click add logo it takes you here now when it takes you to this side you have various type of designs that you can use but most times when i want to work i work more with shapes than all this design but you can still use them to create anything you want to create so now let's go to um shapes now this is shapes with shapes you can what what i did the one i showed you earlier i used shape so i will show you how i used shape can you see there are various shapes there so but i don't have time for us to show this i just want to introduce us to how it is being used so let's let's go back if you click your back arrow on your android it will take you back or just just click the back arrow to take you back now the next thing is the text you can add text if you click add text you type something maybe i say i love you i love you then it has its own default text font that's the real way the number 13 the way to keep track of your font here is by numbers i will advise you to keep track by numbers because if you think you can identify them by name the name doesn't quickly appear it only shows you the design that's the way it is being set i think there are still a way you can set it later on but for now that's how it is being set so you need to just note the number of the font you used earlier so once you know the number you just use that number anytime you're applying it to anything you want to apply so this one is called railway by the time you move to the next one change its name can you see that's the name Lob lobster so that's what i want you to know about that now by the time you click the mark button that is there for each option by the time you download the logo i was talking earlier about too by the time you click download it you see that why you click this mark like scoring you kind of button that has one slash seven by your right hand side you will see that it has some other options this helps you to adjust it into capital letters zoom it out can you see it zoom is that's what it does it zoom so it's like a zoom tool for you now if you don't want to be zooming manually from here you can use this section then another thing is you can space it you can space it by doing this can you see this helps you to space your text now the next one is if you want it to be over or circular can you see you can you just bring the arrow just this way so now another thing is you can determine the inflection point now can you see can you see what is happening it's different from the other circular one can you see so now that's that's how it's being used then you can create a wavy pattern can you see now you have a lot of options with this now you can go to the next one by clicking that button now this is where the color comes in you can do any give it any kind of color now you can come to gradient now in the gradient you have the options you can see that three boxes were created here yeah, that were undone it the gradient will show you the pattern it appears so one up one down then it it's it's the one that influenced the color the time I, I choose one of the gradient can you see i've clicked on the arrow you see what happens to the font now if you click um any of these other ones we don't have time because if i start explaining one after that you might not be able to complete it so i don't want this video to be too long for you to 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 watch so um i will i will come back to how to use this gradient the other some other time so now let's go you know how to use the solid colors already now some of us are familiar with putting um patterns and designs into a uh, font so let's say this you can put this color inside can you see i put this one that was highlighted by the left hand corner now I can change it by picking any of these other colors that I like. You see, can you see the effect? So you you have a lot of options when you are working with um, logo pit. I love it a lot. Now the next one, let's go to the markers. Is if you want to make it have some effect, can you see? I'm turning it around now. I see if it's facing me. That's like a 3D effect. So when you're making a 3D effect, that's what you do. You can make it come up like it's flattened. So if you are designing a work that you want it to have a 3D effect, you can use it. And also you can use this to turn it around. Can you see? So it's it's very easy to use. You see, another zoom tool again. Can you see the number of zoom tools we've already had now? So you can make it transparent. This is transparent too. The beneath one. Can you see? 
that's your transparent tool so all these tools will be applied i'll show you how i use them for most of the work now let's go to the next one it is applicable to almost everything you have every object to you you pushed there they have almost all this so if this lens it's in an angle can you see it's fixed but it's slight like 45 degree or so then this other one takes it up or downward so now let's go to the last one so this is for the shadow if you wanted to have an outline can you see the outline you want it to be thick can you see what is happening don't mind the way it is shaped if i want to do a walk like that i won't make it i just want you all to see that now you can adjust the colors the color of the shadow can you see now it's red and you can invert it if you don't want it to be you want what is there to be the one inside like you want the entire color inside to be plain look at what happened now we've rendered it so that it, you only have the outline not the colored inside so these are the effect you can do you can adjust the color here keep adjusting you can go to the center to pick your colors you see it's with the center but of this will be showing you what the color is now let's go to the next one the last one now this one is for um the shadows can you see you're making it blur it gives a blurry effect can you see now it's like creating a shadow so most of when I create a font, maybe I just want you to have a shadow effect. This is what I use. Now, when you create that shadow, there is a way you can be taking the shadow towards direction. Can you observe what is happening? You can see this X direction. That means it's going towards right. That's X. If you know about graph, that's it. Can you see where the shadow is going? So it's for shadow. Now, this other one takes the shadow up. Because I'm taking it to right, it will be going downward. So if you want to return it up, just come this way so and you can click the negative arrow wait you know that's the effect so it's 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 very useful way to very useful way to so you you don't have any can you see you can give your work maybe you created an object you just give it a shadow so that's that on um, on that now this is how to import image if you use um the advanced crop for for your importation of image it's going to give you advanced settings in cropping you can crop in circles i'll show you how i used it for some of my work these other ones too you will, i will show you can you see this is what it shows you you go to your gallery you get it then there are some reality free photos too that you can get online whenever you are connected to the internet some pictures that you can use for your work so that's later later sure. so now you can add picture directly without editing them or anything now the background that's the one i selected now the one in the middle before getting to the save button now <clears throat> look at it closely i can change the entire background from here i just pick one color can you see i can give it a background the entire background so it's a very good tool i love it a lot and it, the same gradient and the light thing that i showed you apply to it and then you can give it a check view so can you see this is a grid line I believe some those who are used to this we know so you can give it a check feel kind of a thing so you there are a lot of things you can do with background so let's let's go to the next one i won't save this can you see there are a lot see another option second one what is happening here maybe you want the border of the outline can you see can you see what is happening with the background now another one is this you can bend to one angle of the outline of the background you can bend the other you can bend it so you can make it transparent can you see so it's it's something that is very useful so that's all for that let's now go to the sh uh, saving so now the save if you if you click the save you can save the draft that means save it just if you are used with um system you know that you see save in correct draw as cdr i don't know that of uh, photoshop maybe it's psd or something but no those are the ways the names of the file but draft is just what this is i can't know the i can't remember the name of its draft file so but for now this is how it looks like now the download pg you can download in two formats download it as png download it as jpg if you look at png it shows you what it is transparent background this will guide you when you want to import image when you want to import image most of your image that you know that you don't want to see the background look for the png of it not jpg jpg has background so when you import them they will be causing some effect 
that's why I was able to design the other one. The logo of Nigeria that I found, the logo of coat of arm, was able to be of PNG. So I think this helped. I hope this helped a lot. Thanks for hanging around with me. Bye.